Hello everyone, X Walk Hill Bethelite here. And you know, one of the best places to wake up uh, Jehovah's Witnesses that I'm going to start doing is Bethel. Bethel is one of the best places to wake up Jehovah's Witnesses for several reasons. One reason that Bethel was one of the best places for us to work on waking up the cult members there is because that would be extremely damaging to Watchtower. I mean, that would literally be a slap in the face to Watchtower because Bethel is where they have their workforce, right? Bethel is where they have cult members that they actually need. You can wake someone up at a kingdom hall and it's great that you woke them up and you probably save this person from destroying their life or others by waking them up from the cult. It not, it, it's not going to necessarily hurt Watchtower per se that you woke someone up at a kingdom hall or you woke someone up, uh, you know, an old friend or something to that effect. It's great to do it and it saves that person and their kids if they have them. But Watchtower ain't going to run out of, you know, business because, because of that. Bethel, though, that's where the Jehovah's Witnesses are that they use for work, that they need. That's one of the reasons why if we start waking up Bethelites, we're destroying Watchtower's workforce. It's a direct blow to Watchtower. That's one reason why waking people up at Bethel is a good idea. And depending on how successful that is, uh, <laughs> Watchtower would be in a whole lot of trouble. Uh, if a lot of Bethelites start waking up and 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 making videos and, and telling their family, and, and th th that would be a big blow to Watchtower and it can happen. It can happen if that's what's focused on, because I don't think a lot of people focus on Bethel as a place to wake up Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't. Another reason why Bethel is a, a prime area to wake up Jehovah's Witnesses is because Bethel is not as spiritual as people think. It's not at all. Bethel is almost the opposite from my personal experience at, from being at Bethel. Bethel is basically the polar opposite of the Kingdom Hall. Because at the Kingdom Hall, you're going to be talking about such and such a talk. Uh, you're going to be talking about the Watchtower study. You're going to be talking about, you know something spiritual, all oh, this old tired system. We can't wait for the paradise or, or whatever crazy stuff that Jehovah's witnesses want to talk about. They're going to talk about stuff surrounding the religion, <clears throat> quote unquote, spiritual things. But at Bethel, nobody wants to hear that. Bethel is full of people that are, that are teenagers and are in their twenties. And some of these people aren't even fully converted to the religion. Some of the people who are at Bethel are there because their parents want them to be there, not because they want to be. They're just going through the motions. They don't know what's going on. They don't have anything figured out. Their parents pressured them to apply for Bethel and they applied and got accepted. And now they're there, right? So Bethel is the polar opposite of the Kingdom Hall. The Kingdom Hall, you're going to go in and you're going to expect to hear something spiritual. At Bethel, outside of morning worship, the actual morning worship service, at my morning worship table, I can count on one hand how many times someone sitting at my morning worship table talked about how much they appreciated a talk or how much they enjoyed a watchtower or how much they enjoy reading a specific publication or something that they researched in their personal study. That never happened. 
Nobody at the morning worship table is talking about that sort of thing. They don't care. Bethel is more of a college slash high school type environment where your popularity does not have anything to do with how spiritual you are. As a matter of fact, if you have a, a young Jehovah's Witness, let's say they're they're 20 years old and all they like to talk about is the Bible. That's it. They are what we would call extremely spiritual. All they want to talk about is watchtowers, public talks, stuff surrounding the watchtower organization. Well, if that person applies for Bethel, that is going to be the most unpopular person at Bethel. Nobody wants to hear it. They do not. In front of a tour, yeah, sure. You got a tour walking through. Yeah, everybody knows to put on a show. But if they go to their morning worship table talking about that all the time, don't nobody want to hear it. At my assignment, when I got to Bethel, that was me. At my assignment, man, I'm talking about I'm 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 assuming I'm in a place where not only am I going to be talking about spiritual things at the Kingdom Hall, but I'm going to leave the Kingdom Hall, go to Bethel and then talk about it all day there, too. That's what I thought. Wrong. Very wrong. I start talking about, quote unquote, spiritual things in my assignment. And my overseer directly. Asked me not to do it because he says it makes me sound like I feel like I'm all spiritual and uh, that other people aren't, right? No, the reason why it made me look like I was spiritual and other people weren't is because nobody else was talking about it. If people at Bethel talked about, quote unquote, spiritual things with each other regularly, when I talked about it, when I was at my assignment and I wanted to talk about it, I would not have stood I would not have stood out. There would be no difference between me and everybody else if that's what people did. According to my overseer, I would not have seemed all extra spiritual if that's what people did there. No, they don't. That's why Bethel is one of the best places to wake people up because you got a bunch of kids there basically and a bunch of young people there that don't even find Watchtower, you know, literature interesting. They don't even find, they, they, <laughs> they don't even like the darn religion. Really? A lot of them don't. They go to the, the, the meetings because they have to. If a Bethelite, one of these young Bethelites, if the hall was, you know, let's let's say, for example, if there was a situation where they didn't have to go to the hall, they didn't have to go to a Zoom meeting and they could just go out and play basketball or, or do whatever their hobby is, man, they would love it. A lot of them would. A lot of them would love it. So Bethel is more of like a high school, college, you know, campus type environment where you got a lot of kids talking about kids stuff, young people talking about young people stuff. They're not even serious minded like that. So if you have a bunch of people who are half in the religion, half out, this is not how people think of Bethelites. People think of Bethelites as super serious, super spiritual. Some are, yes, yeah, some are, but believe it or not, that's the minority. When I went and I wanted to talk about spiritual stuff all the time, I was in the minority. My roommate didn't look at the books and on his bookshelf. Most of them was not were not Watchtower publications. Most people <clears throat> at Bethel are there because of pressure. They're there and they end up staying because of a pressure and b prominence. They want the prominence. But they ain't. They're not even that spiritual to begin with. Right. So. That's a number two. That's the second reason why, uh, you know, Bethel is one of the best 
places to wake someone up. And then the third reason is that the environment at Bethel, unlike the Kingdom Hall, unlike with your family, unlike with around in most Jehovah's Witnesses, the environment at Bethel is one where people can openly talk about things you can't talk about nowhere else in the entire organization of Jehovah's Witnesses. When I was at Bethel at my assignment, uh, one of the people that worked with me came up to me and asked me, not just me, this was the conversation on the crew. How do you even know that there's a God? And he's asking me in a, I don't even believe there's a God type of a way. And he's having this discussion with other people. Some of them are trying to convince him that there is. Me, I looked at him, my mouth dropped. I can't believe someone at Bethel asked me this. <laughs> my mouth dropped. I didn't engage in the conversation because I was so shocked that he asked me that. But questions that would immediately make a Jehovah's Witness run screaming because they're afraid to talk about it, because they assume you're 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 an apostate and you're you're the devil and all this other crazy stuff. These things are talked about at Bethel. Because Bethel, what is important socially is popularity. It ain't spirituality at all, at all. <laughs> if you, 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 Let me put it this way. The guy who asked that question wasn't spiritual at all, didn't want to be at Bethel at all, was open in telling people he don't want to be there, was open to telling people how do you even know there's a God? He was open to tell people whatever. People openly cuss at Bethel. On that crew, people, people openly cursed. And it depends on how popular you are. Nobody cares if you believe in God or not, if they think you're fun, if, 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 if they want to hang around you. So the guy who was saying all those things, that was one of the most popular people in the whole warehouse where I worked. Everybody liked him because he was fun. That's what people care about at Bethel. If you go to Bethel and you're fun and they like to hang around you, dude, you can curse. You can talk about sex. You can, we were on, we were, we were at, I'm at Bethel. And we're feeling in order. Basically, you know, one of the buildings in, in Brooklyn ordered some stuff from the warehouse. We're filling the order, putting the stuff on the pallet, getting ready to put it on a truck. And the discussion openly, the open discussion was. Who would you have sex with? And you could pick anybody at Bethel. Who would you have sex with? And we're in there, you know, we're, we're and they're picking people and then they're telling me, oh, no, you got to pick somebody. You got to pick somebody. I don't want to talk about, you know, you got if you you have to pick one person. And and the, the 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 talk was vulgar. One of the guys was talking about uh, somebody's wife at Bethel and how he would, you know, smash her, basically, you know, have sex with her. He's talking about how he would bend her. We, were, we had the forklift there. He's talking about how he would bend her over the forklift and he would do this and stuff like that. This is the discuss. So this is why <laughs> Bethel is the best environment there is to try to wake somebody up. If you talk critically about Watchtower, a Bethelite, especially a younger one, especially a younger one, an older Bethelite, you know, somebody that's been there for a long time they're indoctrinated now. They, they, they know that if they hear a whole lot of negative things about Watchtower coming from somebody they don't know, 
that it's possibly, uh, you know, pasta stuff like that. But a younger Beth like hearing something negative about Watchtower, that's every day. That's all the time. They talk about whatever in the world they want to talk about. They talk about how they ain't feel like going to the to the Watchtower study. They don't feel like going. They 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 make fun of people's morning worship comments. Like they they <laughs> Bethel is the best place on earth to talk openly about Watchtower. So if 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 let's say I called Bethel, and Bethel cannot keep you from <laughs> talking to someone if you want to, they cannot. They, 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 they can't, you know, have these people working at Bethel and keep these people prisoners and not let them have phone calls. All these rooms have phones attached to them. So if I decide I want to start contacting Bethel, I can. And if I get a hold of one of these younger Bethelites and I just start talking about, you know, the organization of Bethel and, and all I got to do is all I have to do is say I'm at room, you know, such and such, and I'm new, and, and I'm just, you know, meeting people, meeting other people at Bethel, call a couple rooms, meet a couple people, talk about getting together. They will buy it. People at Bethel don't know everybody at Bethel. They'll buy it. You know, I'm good at thinking up things, you know, Watchtower ain't going to like this, but Marcus is good at thinking of ways to infiltrate Watchtower. What I just said, if if people do it, would work 100% of the time in contacting Bethel, talking to a Bethelite, and having a reason to talk to them so they don't ask you who you are and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm at room such and such, just switched over from Brooklyn Bethel, and let's say I'm, I'm at talking to Walk Hill, switched over from Brooklyn Bethel, and I'm just trying to meet a couple people. I just called the room, you know, see if you wanted to get together, play basketball, something like that. And then just start a conversation. You know, man, it's this, this, this whole pillow gate thing, man, that stuff was stupid. You don't have to call it pillow gate, but, you know. And it's going to entertain the conversation because Bethelites talk negatively about Watchtower. They talk negatively about where they work all the damn time. He won't even think it's nothing of it. And then if you start talking about, man, you know, they they can never keep their their stuff straight anyway. Did you know back in 1975, man, they predicted the end of the world? You're going to be like, what? Like, yeah, man, you can look this stuff. You can look this stuff up, man. They they they, they predicted the end of the world. And then this young Bethelite, he's going to start thinking. Number one, this young Bethelite is not going to hang up the phone. It's If, if, if he does... This is going to be somebody who's typically older, an older, super indoctrinated person. These young Bethelites that get sent to Bethel, they're prime for waking them up. They're in an environment where it's okay to talk negative about Watchtower. You don't do it in front of the governing body. You don't do it in front of your table head. And as far as work, it depends on who your overseer is as far as if you do it in front of him. But in front of all your other co-workers, in front of all your other friends, yeah, you talk about whatever you want. So that's the other reason why Bethel is the best place, in my opinion, to wake people up. It's an environment in which people can talk negatively about Watchtower and not be considered an apostate. Not be considered uh spiritually weak why because they don't even care about a person being spiritually weak half of bethel is spiritually weak and they don't care it's all about popularity and are you fun are you funny are you cool to hang out with can you play basketball can you play football that's what matters so if a bethelite talks to somebody and they seem spiritually weak Bro, that's that's everybody that they talk to every day, pretty much. So if you get on the phone, let's say we get one of these young Bethelites on the phone. And I want to do it. You know what I mean? I don't want somebody that don't know what they doing to freaking mess it up. You know what I mean? Somebody that don't know what they doing to just call and just say dumb stuff that number one ain't going to wake nobody up. And number two is just going to be so obvious. Right. I want to infiltrate myself or have people on the phone with me when I do it. Uh, <clears throat> and when I talk to one of these young Bethelites, 
I'm pretty sure that I will either wake them up or inform them of a whole lot of different things that they did not know. <laughs> and then they'll make the, de the they'll make the decision on whether or not they want to stay at Bethel, let alone continue with that organization. Because if you, if you, because if, if you are not there for the prominence, you have to be there because you believe in the religion. Otherwise, there's no reason for you to be working for free. Right. So if they're there for the prominence and I inform them of all these things, they might stay. They don't half believe in the religion anyway, if they're just there for the prominence. But if they actually believe in that religion, because that's what the religion they were born in. Uh, and I inform them. Of the truth about the truth really good chance they're going to wake up really good chance they're going to wake up right and what other jehovah's witness are you going to be able to start a conversation with explaining the truth about the organization how false it is and they sit there and listen to the whole discussion nobody really not very many bethel's the best place because if they think you're a bethelite and you just upset about something, but you cool, you inviting them to play basketball. Man, they gonna listen to the whole thing. They gonna listen to the whole darn thing. So Watchtower don't want people to know this, but I guarantee you, if, if matter of fact, I'm not gonna say if I do it, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna start doing it and Watchtower is not going to like it. Watchtower is not going to like it. If there's any video Marcus has made that Watchtower would actually care about and be concerned about, it'd be that. It'd be that. Because Watchtower knows. Half these kids coming to Bethel, they don't half believe it themselves. They're half in, half out themselves. Half of them don't even want to be at Bethel. Number one and number two, and this is and and, and 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 this is the next reason why Bethel is one of the best places to wake somebody up. Once you start talking to a Bethelite about, you know, a Jehovah's Witness uh, being a pedophile or a Jehovah's Witness doing something negative, they're not going to say, "Oh no, Jehovah's Witnesses wouldn't do that." Why? They see it. They saw their freaking overseer chasing after women. Their married overseer chasing after women that came for a tour. They saw it. So they're not going to say, no, Jehovah's Witnesses would never do that. That'd be another religion. No, they sit there and they watch it there at Bethel. The thing is, is it don't click. For a Bethelite. The Bethelite knows the overseer's doing something he ain't supposed to do, but it don't click. Oh, this whole organization is false. No, they just think that the, the, their overseer's doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. But if you call them or and, and, and tell them, then it'll click. Oh. Yeah, matter. Yeah. Bethel, you're right. Be Bethel isn't spiritual. You, you got people doing whatever they want. I sat there and watched my overseer chase after all these women uh, on a tour, and he's the same guy that gave our our memorial talk. What 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 you know? It's, it's going to click with the Bethelite. The Bethelite saw a guy make a pass at him who was gay. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but yeah, a lot of the 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 gay men at Bethel, older men, will make passes at the young Bethelites that come in. They seen it. It's just it just doesn't click that the whole organization is false yet. Right. So when Marcus calls a Bethelite and reveals the fact that this organization is false to said Bethelite, the Bethelite is going to be the easiest person I could ever wake up because they've seen it themselves. They sat there and watched it at Bethel. And most times they'll be willing to talk because they ain't got nobody that they can talk to 
at home. They can't call their, their family and tell them all this stuff that's going on at Bethel. <laughs> they got to keep this stuff within Bethelites, you know. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. But I think for that reason, young Bethelites are the best people to wake up. Because A, a lot of them are not fully indoctrinated. Uh, they're just there for family pressure. B, it's okay to talk about negative things about Watchtower at Bethel. It happens all the time. Uh, and C, when you do it, that Bethelite, they've seen it. It'll click with them. They've seen it. They've seen it there at Bethel. They've seen all the negative stuff there at Bethel. So 937-789-4029, that's the phone number. We can discuss it. Uh, X Wallkill Bethelite, signing out.